Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the book buying mist history tag. Not mystery, although that would be a good title. Dane reads. Typically, my phone's on low battery, as is my camera. My phone has the questions on though, but there are only two. So let's jump straight on in. Uh, this was created by One Book One Review. I'll link to her video below. And uh, she created it originally, and she tagged me. So. Two questions. Question number one, where do I get my books? Store, library, online, etc. So I get my books from a mixture of places. Oh, Biggie's knocking the camera. Oh God, oh God. Um, so I get my books from a mixture of places. Some of them I get from the Tesco Book Exchange where people can like drop off their used books and then you can get them pretty cheap in exchange for a donation to charity. I get quite a lot from charity shops when the world is open as well. Occasionally I'll be sent them by like a publicist or the author themselves, although I've kind of um, been taking on fewer books like that. I get anywhere between two to three hundred review requests per month, so I just I don't even read most of them, you know. It has to be a really good pitch to get my attention or to come from somebody who I've read from before or, or who I've worked with before. So like, for example, shout out to Isabel Kenyon from Fly on the Wall Poetry Press. I trust her judgment and so if she offers to send me a book, I usually say yes. I also get some from Amazon, some from eBay. I have like a, a monthly allowance of six books that I'm allowed to go out and hunt down. And so that's when I tend to go and specifically look for books by authors. Either books that I'm like really looking forward to getting to or books that I'll be reading for a buddy read. Or if I'm like, for example, when I was trying to review all of the Agatha Christie books and I was trying to get through the last few of those, um, I would use my quota for that. And also recently, uh, because of my eBay store, again, I'll link to that below if I remember, um, I tend to buy a lot of job lots as well, so if I see like a job lot of Stephen King books, well maybe not King because I've got most of those now, um, but I don't know, like Spike Milligan, I recently got a job lot of Spike Milligan books. So there are a lot of authors who I'm like a completionist with and who I'm trying to read everything they ever wrote, so if I see job lots of multiple books by them, I'll try and win them. I tried to do that with Kurt Vonnegut recently as well, although I got outbid unfortunately. And question number two, how do I choose the books I get? Lists, recommendations, cover by, etc. So yeah, I mean, I have my own list of all the books I want to read. Basically, as and when I find a new author who I'm like, oh, they're great, I want to read all of their books. I then add all of their books to my wish list, and I have this list now of, I would say, 3,000 books, give or take, 50 or 100, of all the books that I want to get to, and I'm just sort of slowly working my way through all of those. Um, sometimes I pick them up because I've heard about them on BookTube and stuff, but the process is generally, if I want a book enough, it will go on my uh, wish list, my to buy list. And then when I'm in charity shops or wherever I'm buying from, I kind of cross reference back to that list to see whether it's on there. And um, I'm much more likely to buy a book if it's already on my wish list. Although like recently I picked up uh, Vox by Christina Dolce because I'd heard a lot about it and I've been meaning to get to it for a while. So when I finally saw it, I was like sorted. I'm gonna get that one, so I did. So there we have it, those are the two questions. I'm now gonna tag some people. I'm just gonna go off the top of my noggin for this one. So I'm gonna tag Harpies in the Trees. I'm gonna tag Marie McWilliams. I'm gonna tag, uh, let's see, Cats and Camera. She'll be an interesting one. Todd the Librarian. Uh, Gra uh, Graham from Graham Stillers Reads Books. Jason from Jason's Weird Reads. Alex Black, because she's back creating content now, woohoo. Uh, I'll do two more. So we will do um, Regina's Haunted Library, she'd be a good one. And um, go on, Hannah Tay. I don't know if she watches my videos. I think she drops in every now and then. So if you see this, Hannah, get it done. So there we have it, that's what I made of the, I think it was called the where do I buy my books tag. As always, don't forget to hit that like button down below if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments where you buy your books from. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.